Hello, I'm Dr. Megat Tollefson. I'm an assistant professor of dermatology and pediatrics uh, at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about vascular birthmarks and malformations. Uh, vascular malformations are a, a complex uh, group of disorders. These vascular birthmarks and malformations uh, can comprise a variety um, of different malformations in blood vessels, ranging from the smallest blood vessels, which are capillaries, to the larger blood vessels, such as the lymphatic vessels, veins, and the arteries. Uh, some of these are capillary malformations, venous malformations, lymphatic malformations, and these can often uh, be a combination of different types of blood vessels. So you can have uh, a combination of capillary and lymphatic malformation or a cap combination of venous and lymphatic malformation. Uh, there are even more rare malformations such as arteriovenous malformations or uh, cutis marmorata telangiectetica congenita, also called CMTC for short. Um, sometimes these malformations are associated with larger syndromes that uh, imply uh, other problems in the body as well. And some of these are Klippel-Trenaune syndrome, Clove syndrome, Cervelle Martorell syndrome. And then uh, this list of malformations even includes a much rarer uh, vascular birthmarks and malformations such as Kaposiform hemangioendothelioma and tufted angiomas. Many of these types of malformations and birthmarks can have a profound impact on someone's life. And even though oftentimes we're not able to offer a cure, our team of doctors is able to offer treatment strategies that can really improve someone's life. Um, I had a patient that uh, was in his mid-30s and he just found out four or five years ago what he actually has. And we just did some simple um, interventions uh, and now uh, just a month later after doing the, some of those simple things like caring for his skin and improving the pain that he's having in his hip, uh, he's able to do things that he wasn't able to do as readily anymore. Um, he said he can run around after a seven-year-old boy. He was able to take him camping, uh, which he wasn't able to do um, before this. Um, we've been able to decrease the number of infections he's having on his skin, uh, which had a significant impact on his life. So depending on the type of malformation, uh, where it's located, how big it is, and how old the person is, uh, whether or not they have any problems uh, or the kind of problem can really, really vary. And so it's really Im important to be able to be uh, under the care of someone that's very experienced in uh, diagnosing and managing these different types of, of birthmarks and malformations. Many of these uh, birthmarks and malformations are lifelong, and so uh, most people that are affected will be dealing uh, with this uh, for the majority of their lives. Um, they may not be present at birth, actually, and may arise at some point in the first uh, 10 to 20 years of life, depending on the kind of a birthmark or malformation uh, that's present. And, and depending on when uh, these birthmarks or malformations uh, become apparent, uh, there may be different diagnoses to consider or different treatment options to consider. Many uh, people with, uh, with these types of birthmarks and malformations really do uh, require multidisciplinary care. So uh, a lot of times we'll need to have multiple providers involved. And here I'm fortunate uh, to be able to work with in the Vascular Anomalies and Malformations Clinic a number of uh, people that are very uh, experienced uh, and very adept uh, at taking care of people that have these uh, birthmarks and malformations and the syndromes associated with them. In addition to dermatology, there's uh, cardiology, vascular medicine, vascular surgery. We have plastic surgeons and orthopedic surgeons who are very involved. Um, our interventional radiology department, as well as our radiologists, um, are instrumental in, in uh, caring for people that have uh, these types of birthmarks and malformations. We have available to us a wonderful lymphedema clinic as well that can uh, help uh, manage the pain and the swelling uh, uh, that many people experience also. Uh, and one of the strengths is really that uh, we're able to work together very collegially and communicate very well to come up with the best plan for a, for a person. And truly every person involved in the clinic uh, has the person sitting in front of them's best interest at heart. We do know that curing many of these uh, birthmarks and malformations is difficult uh, and that depending on uh, what a person or patient is experiencing, there are a variety of treatment options that are available to um, either uh, improve the birthmark, improve someone's symptoms, um, improve their quality of life, and in some cases even completely remove the birthmark.
Some of these range from uh, less invasive uh, and fairly simple, such as compression and wrapping, uh, or even lymphedema massage. Uh, other treatments that are available, depending on the type of birthmark and, and the location, are new uh, medications uh, that have been recent advances, such as oral treatments and even topical treatments uh, that have recently uh, uh, been used in just the last couple of years for many patients that have these vascular birthmarks and malformations. Uh, laser treatment might be an option uh, for many people that have a, a strong skin component to their birthmarks and malformations. Uh, sclerotherapy, uh, which is injecting a material or detergent into these uh, vessels, uh, is a, a treatment that many people undergo and do very well with. Uh, we did recently publish our experience uh, with sclerotherapy and the majority of people that got sclerotherapy significantly improved and uh, stated that they would recommend it to someone else that had the same thing as them. Uh, we do want to be very careful, however, about who we, uh, we decide to do the treatment on because we want to make sure that we actually improve uh, your symptoms without causing much uh, risk uh, to your overall health. In some cases, uh, surgery is actually the best treatment option, and we have a great team of surgeons uh, that are very thoughtful in, in deciding who would be the best candidate for surgery uh, and are uh, extremely experienced in uh, removing these types of vascular birthmarks and malformations. If you'd like any more information about the specific birthmarks or malformations or more information about our vascular malformations clinic here at Mayo, please visit our website uh, at mayoclinic.org.